Hi! In today's video, I will be talking about floral perfumes. I love floral perfumes and I'm happier when I wear them. I chose 10 flowers and I picked a perfume in my collection with that note. It's, it was so hard to pick just 10. So I didn't include rose here. I might do a part 2 and maybe a part 3 of my spring perfumes. So on with the first one. I remember smelling this the first time. I was immediately taken by the very realistic gardenia here. There's nothing synthetic to it. It's sweet, green, and rich. And it doesn't have that old lady vibe, considering this first came out in the early 2000s. Rather, it's a simple and cozy scent. It doesn't project much, but this has a pretty good longevity. It stays up to 3-4 to four hours in my skin and longer on my clothes. In my collection, I only have two perfumes with bluebells. I have Jo Malone Wild Bluebells and this one. I really love Jo Malone and, and that is one of my favorites. But I chose this for this note. This is Pop Bluebell by Stella McCartney. I haven't smelled a real bluebell in my life, so I cannot really compare this to a real one. But this is definitely floral. According to Fragrantica, this is the closest smell to the real bluebell. No real flowers were used making this. It's rather a concoction of flowers. The flowers here are sweet, heady, and very fragrant. At the same time, it's green and powdery. This smell reminds me of the plumeria tree in the neighborhood where I used to live. Every night, the air is rich and fragrant. Although it doesn't smell the same, the sweetness of the air reminds me of this perfume. And this perfume has frangipani and tuberose. I find these two very decadent when mixed together. For longevity, this stays very long on my skin, more than 8 hours, and this leaves a moderate trail of fragrance in the air. This is a delicate and soft lilac. I bought this last year from Target after seeing Sarah May's video about lilac perfumes. I think this one, you can also find this in Ulta. I just loved this when I first smelled it. It's sweet and very floral. It's a fresh smelling, very fragrant lilac. Every time I smell this, I get a rush of happy and euphoric feeling. Like, I'm in a garden surrounded by lilacs. This is a beautiful but simple and innocent smelling perfume. It just doesn't project much and doesn't stay long in my skin. You need to reapply it every so often to really smell this beauty. This is a lovely jasmine perfume. I quite prefer this one compared to the original. This is Light Blue Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. This intense version is severely floral. It's sweet and a little fruity because of the green apple. It's fresh and clean. For me, this is a happy perfume. I think I used this twice only and on those occasions, it never failed to lift my mood. It stayed quite long on my skin, about 5-6 to six hours. So, in my book, this is definitely full bottle worthy. This is Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture. This is an elegant tube rose perfume. There is a lot of notes in the opening, but for me, this is a straight up tube rose that's quite linear. 
It has that dainty white floral scent, green and airy, that's sweet and very fragrant. Quite heady to the verge of headache inducing, but this is a very good tuberose perfume. So what I do so I don't choke from this is I just spray it on the sides of my forearm and back. Three spritz will do. Performance wise, it stays a little longer in my skin and projects at an arm's length. This is Peony and Suede Blush. This is a pretty peony perfume with sweet and fresh red apple opening and a powdery dry down. This is a sexy feminine perfume. On my skin, this is very long lasting. It stays for about 8 to 10 hours, but it doesn't project much. A person has to be close to smell it on me. I did a separate video for this perfume. I'll just put the link somewhere if you want to watch. This is F by Ferragamo. The nose behind this perfume is none other than Francis Kirtlijan. I think I ordered this in the summer last year and I didn't like it then. It smelled synthetic. And this is spring. I took it out of the drawer and tested this again. It has started to bloom in my skin. This is really a spring perfume. This is a lovely orange blossom perfume with some jasmine. It's a heady orange blossom, but it's not too sweet. It's very long lasting on my skin and it doesn't project much. This is Mongerland EDT. Lavender is one of my favorite essential oil and it helps to relax me, especially at night. There was a time I was into Johnson's Baby shower gel and lotion with lavender. I use it mostly at night to help me fall asleep. It was beautiful. So anyway, this is for the lavender note. I prefer this over Lib or Lib Intense. I only have a tester for Lib and tested the Intense version in store. The lavender here blends well with the vanilla and caramel. The vanilla and caramel softens the harshness of the lavender. This is also very long lasting on my skin, about 5 to 6 hours. What I love about this is it blends well with my body chemistry. I was wearing this one time, I was sweating, and the more I sweat, the more it projected. And that's how I love it. It's like this, when someone says you smell nice, you would say, Oh, it's just my sweat. This is Ansolens EDP by Guerlain. Some say Insolens and some say Ansolens. So this is a very powdery violets perfume with some berries. The violets here are pretty and delicate. It's very feminine and innocent smelling. But this is a heavily projecting perfume with quite a noticeable sillage and very long lasting on my skin about 10 to 12 hours i did a review of this one you can click the link up here if you want to watch the entire video this is prada la femme for this flower i chose this on my nose this is a frangipani perfume although there's tube rose and other floral notes the bergamot in the opening makes the perfume fresh and bright. This is not too sweet and not heady like the real flower. And it's because of the bergamot and the vetiver. This is fairly new to my collection. I only use this twice. It stays long in my skin for about 4-5 to five hours and 
projects fairly well at about an arm's length. So those are the 10 flowers and 10 corresponding floral perfumes in my collection. You can do this tag if you like floral perfumes like me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. This channel is all about perfumes. See you on the next video. Bye!